Hello, may God bless you and welcome to Clarity. I hope you're enjoying your day. Today we'll talk about the Lord's protection and we'll also pray Psalms 91 and 121. God, our Lord Jesus Christ, who was crucified for us, rose again, and now sits at the right hand of the Father, offers us help and deliverance, as he has demonstrated in numerous declarations. So let us apply our hearts to repentance and turn our gaze to the Son of God, in regard to whom we have the assurance that, after the wonderful counsel of God, he has been placed over the family of man, to be the protector and preserver of his church. We do not fully understand our plight, our dangers, or the rage of our enemies until we have experienced extraordinary sorrow. Still, we should consider this, there must be great need, as well as a fearful might and rage of enemies, because God's Son has been given to us as a powerful protector. When he says, No man shall pluck my sheep out of my hand, he is indicating that he is not a passive observer of calamity, but that mighty and unending strife is taking place. The devil encourages his minions to disrupt the political or religious order so that utter confusion and apocalyptic desolation can set in. However, the Son of God, who holds the assembly of those who call upon his name in his hands, casts the demons back by his omnipotent power, subdues and pursues them there, and will one day imprison them in the prison of hell and punish them for all eternity. This comfort must be maintained for the entire church, as well as for each individual. If we feel spirits blaze up and fall to ruin in these distracted and warring times, we should turn our gaze away to the Son of God, who sits in the secret council of the Godhead. He keeps watch over his small flock and carries the helpless lambs in his own hands. Be assured that he will protect and uphold you. We'll pray shortly. The most crucial aspect of practical religion is prayer. It comes before all other topics. None of them are as important as the prayer. Psalms are divinely inspired words that God has given us to use in speaking to and about Him. Today we will be praying Psalm 91 and 121. In Psalm 91 and 121, the Lord's protection and care are praised. The 91st Psalm in the Book of Psalms, Psalm 91, is frequently recited during trying times because it is a psalm of protection. Psalm 121 is the second in the Songs of Ascent, a unique collection of psalms also known as pilgrim songs. They date back to a time when the faithful were making their way to Jerusalem, which is located on a high hill. The faithful sang these songs while on their ascent to the city. I want to share something important with you before we pray, so pay close attention. Do you know that writing down our thoughts, prayers, and aspirations gives them power? Mark 11 verse 23 says that those who believe that what they say will happen, it will be done for them, and Habakkuk 2 verse 2 says to write the vision. It's important that you declare it and write it down. It provides the Holy Spirit with materials to work with and as I said before it empowers your thoughts, prayers and aspirations. Please write today's declaration in the comments section. The Lord is my refuge, is the declaration of today. Go to the comments now and write the declaration, the Lord is my refuge. I also want you to like this video. Click the like button below right now. This is crucial because it will strengthen our community and support the channel. Additionally, it will let YouTube know that you enjoy the video so that they can recommend additional videos that are similar to this one. Last but not least, if you haven't already, I'd like you to subscribe to the channel. The words subscribe are displayed beneath this video. To subscribe, simply click the button and then click the bell and select all. 
By doing this, you will be notified the next time I upload a video and can access more of my prayers and other content at no cost. Your support for the channel is greatly appreciated. God bless you. Now let's pray. Pray with me. You may choose to repeat these words aloud or quietly with me. Beloved Lord, Almighty God, I can recognize your infinite goodness and presence in situations that human reason finds puzzling by the fact that you give me aid through your Son and for the sake of your Son. Similar to how my first parents, who were upheld by the assistance of you alone after the fall when they were abandoned by all the creatures. The Israelites were saved when they stood in the Red Sea between the impossibly high water walls, just as Noah's family was during the flood. As David said, My father and my mother have forsaken me, but the Lord taketh me up. Many people throughout history have encountered such divine support and deliverance in their own personal dangers. I pray to you, Lord, for protection with a cheerfulness in my heart. I try to not keep doubt and melancholy in my heart. In times of peril, I take solace in you and I am strengthened by my faith in your compassion and presence. I wait patiently for assistance and deliverance, and I quietly maintain that tranquility that is the start of eternal life, and without which, there can be no true devotion. We continue our prayer with Psalm 91. Repeat with me. Whoever dwells in the shelter of the Most High will rest in the shadow of the Almighty. I will save the Lord. He is my refuge and my fortress my God, in whom I trust. Surely he will save you from the fowler's snare and from the deadly pestilence. He will cover you with his feathers, and under his wings you will find refuge. His faithfulness will be your shield and rampart. You will not fear the terror of night, nor the arrow that flies by day, nor the pestilence that stalks in the darkness, nor the plague that destroys at midday. A thousand may fall at your side, ten thousand at your right hand, but it will not come near you. You will only observe with your eyes and see the punishment of the wicked. If you say, The Lord is my refuge, and you make the Most High your dwelling, no harm will overtake you, no disaster will come near your tent. For He will command His angels concerning you to guard you in all your ways. They will lift you up in their hands, so that you will not strike your foot against a stone. You will tread on the lion and the cobra. You will trample the great lion and the serpent. Because he loves me, says the Lord, I will rescue him, I will protect him, for he acknowledges my name. He will call on me, and I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble. I will deliver him and honor him. With long life I will satisfy him and show him my salvation. Beloved Lord, you are my refuge. I love you so much and thank you for your salvation and protection. You will rescue me and you will protect me. We continue our prayer with Psalm 121. Repeat with me. I lift up my eyes to the mountains. Where does my help come from? My help comes from the Lord, the Maker of heaven and earth. He will not let your foot slip. He who watches over you will not slumber. Indeed, he who watches over Israel will neither slumber nor sleep. The Lord watches over you. The Lord is your shade at your right hand. The sun will not harm you by day, nor the moon by night. The Lord will keep you from all harm. He will watch over your life. The Lord will watch over your coming and going, both now and forevermore. I understand that to recognize the dangers to the soul and the defenses against them, wisdom is necessary. Some people are being overtaken by doubt and cast down by anxious sorrow, which are soul-destroying. 
but I as a faithful, on the other hand, know that by faith and devotion I can keep my heart upright and close to you, and enjoy the beginning of eternal life, and obtain relief from the general distress. I sincerely implore you, Lord, to pardon our sins out of the boundless compassion that you have for us. You are aware of our extreme weakness and our inability to carry the weight of our suffering. Dear Lord, I ask you to please grant assistance to everyone watching this video with their personal and societal needs. Be their refuge and protector. Uphold the churches in these lands and everything that contributes to their protection. To God be the glory forever and ever. Amen. Now I'd like you to share this prayer with your family and friends. Send it to anyone you think might benefit from this prayer. Many people are in need of protection during these times, and you can do good by spreading this prayer so that others can benefit from it as well. As Galatians 6 verse 10 says, Therefore, as we have opportunity, let us do good to all people, especially to those who belong to the family of believers. So share it now, send it to everyone in the family of believers. Remember to like this video so that YouTube knows what videos you like and what is good for you. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel so you can be notified when I upload my next video. Thank you. May the Lord bless you and keep you.